Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Felix in Motopa and in this lesson, a couple of lessons to come, I'll be taking you through WS Python. Now, WS Python is a cross-platform graphical user interface library developed in Python for creating a graphical user interface applications. Now, uh, a graphical user interface is a form of user interface for interacting with your code instead of using the command line. So, for instance, if you have a, a script that set or that expects an input from the user, maybe a string or an integer data type from the user before the program can continue and give an appropriate output to the user. A way of uh, accepting those values is by allowing the user to interact with the program using the graphical user interface. And the user interacts with the program by manipulating what we call widgets, which is a form of a graphical control element containing the widget toolkit for creating graphical user interface. Now, on the top right corner here, I have a small graphical user interface program that uh, contains the main rectangle that you see, which is known as a frame. It also has a button widget, a test control widget, and then a check a checkbox widget. Now, in the subsequent lessons, I'll be explaining to you what these ones are, and then how you can use these ones, how you can construct them as well. And uh, the application is mostly constructed in a cascading manner with one graphical control element or one widget being overlaid or added directly on top of the other so for instance in the graphical user interface application i have here i have the button the test control widget and then the check box widget being overlaid or added on top of the main frame uh, widgets that you see here now the program is being developed or in interacted in an uh, event driven fashion which means that until an event happens, the program remains idle. So, for instance, as the program is running, until maybe the user give an input to the user or click on a button or does something, the program will remain idle like that. And uh, when an event is detected by the application, it is passed on to the appropriate model or function to uh, deal with the event and then give a, a corresponding response to the event. Now, uh, some examples of widget toolkits available in the market include GTK for C, JNUST for JTC, Qt for C++, and then uh, WS widgets for C++, and then also for Python as well. Now, WS widget, formerly known as WS Windows, is a widget toolkit and tools library for creating graphical user interface for cross-platform applications. What this one means is that you can use WS widget to create an application for Windows, uh, for Linux, and then for Mac OS operating uh, plus operating systems. And the uh, WS widget enables the graphical user interface application to compile and run on several computer platforms with minimal or no code changes. So when you develop your script and you create an executable uh, script or program, for instance, you can share it with your friends or with your colleagues without them needing to uh, make any changes to their original code. Now, uh, the programming languages available for the root widgets include C++, where it is known as native, Ruby, where it is known as WS Ruby, Python, where it is known as WS Python, Perl, where it is known as WS Perl, and then Java, where it is known as WS Java. And uh, some of the things that you will need in order to follow the lessons include to have Python installed, to have a test editor, so for instance, you can use the Notepad++ or you can use Sublime Test Editor and you should have an ID for running your code and then you should also have create a, a, a virtual environment and then of course you should have a basic knowledge of Python. However, in this uh, lessons, uh, I'll be using mostly Anaconda ID, Anaconda and then uh, Spider Test Editor for creating the scripts and then also for running the codes. So thank you very much and uh, don't forget to like, share, comment and then to subscribe in order to receive further lessons that will come. Thank you once again for being my guests.